Cage, Nick Sorge. Here he is, Nick Sorge from Team Predator. Comes in three and two, professional fight here. 155 pounds, and really, you know, at this weight class for the pros, these guys come in, you talk about guys being in condition, these guys are really in condition. They can go all night if they have to. We saw Nick Sorg in the main event of our last show here at the Kansas Civic Center, just a war against Sonny Marchetti at 155. Sorg came out on top, opened some eyes, and now we see Sorg again coming in at three and two. Uh, I got hooked when I was uh, at a young age. My father used to watch these when I was real little. And I've always liked doing it. Horse Gracie was a big fan of his. He's just him being so much smaller and to be able to take on the Giants, you know, and it just it was amazing. So it kind of caught my eye. And then probably about a few years, a few years ago, I actually got, you know, I wanted to decide I wanted to do it and dedicate myself. It's a tough sport. You got to be ready for it. Sorg sporting the uh, Superman tattoo there. Never hurt. Waylon Low hoping to be his kryptonite tonight. We'll see if that happens. Been looking forward to this fight all night. These two are some very, very skilled competitors coming in here at 155. Both got great wrestling skills. Now calling to the cage, Waylon Lowe. Here he, here he is, Waylon Lowe. He's just one and one. You mentioned the wrestling. He was a college wrestler, Steve. Waylon Lowe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, wrestled at the University of Finley, which, as you know, is a very, very reputable uh, wrestling college. That's right, we saw Lowe beat uh, Cody Ship with the uh, Kimura. That was our very first show at the Masonic Temple, so it's been a while since we've seen Waylon Lowe. Comes in a one and one. This is gonna be a tough test against Nick Sorg, because Sorg really impressed me with that win over Sonny Marchetti. I know we're gonna have to get back in the ring with Steve Hyman. Which sport, boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, which is the best if you wanna be a fight the best superstar? And truthfully, I think you better be good at all of them. As the, as the sport evolves, you're gonna see these guys they're going to have to be well-rounded. I mean, wrestlers can be beat, boxers can be beat, jiu-jitsu guys, I mean, you, you got to have it all coming in here. And these guys do. All right, let's go inside the cage to Tony Frazier. In the red corner, weighing in at 155 pounds, three wins, two losses, representing Team Predator from Findlay, Ohio, it's Nick Sword. In the blue corner, weighing in at 155 pounds. One win, one loss, representing Team George Jurgel from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's Waylon Lowe. All right, Waylon Lowe coming in from Cincinnati, trying to make a name for himself. I'm going for the wrestler here with uh, Waylon, Chuck. You're talking about wrestling and, and what skills, uh, you know, it's it, when UFC started, for instance, you'd see a lot of guys wrestling that dominated, but now you really have to be a multifaceted fighter. I know jiu-jitsu was a pretty big one when UFC started as well. When the UFC started, Gracie came out, voice came out, just dominated because nobody had ever seen it. As these guys became more and more skilled, they incorporated the wrestling, the boxing, the kickboxing, tie boxing into, into the whole game. These guys are well versed. That's right, the sport looks a lot different now than it did when it started to become prominent. So far, these guys feeling each other out. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. And just the wrestler difficult. standing up. Sorg's got a three inch height advantage. We'll see what he does with it. Been able to keep low at bay pretty much. Sorg's, Sorg's doing a smart thing. Typically a wrestler would come in with that lead leg out there pretty long. Sorg was working that lead leg till it went down. Waylon Lowe obviously hit the uh, hit the takedown and is in Sorg's guard right now. One thing that uh, Rover, these wrestlers tend to do is they tend to lead with their head. So you sometimes see them get choked because of that. Right. It probably runs counter to their training as wrestlers. They usually have no problem leaving with their head. Absolutely. Well, the wrestlers leave with their head because they control the fight with their head and their neck. Right now, the feet are playing a big role in this one. It's basically a defense mechanism. Sorg in some trouble here. Lowe's got side control. Trying to add some, uh, some punch to this. But uh, Sorg's doing a good job escaping. I thought he was going to turn uh, turn that over there for a second. Sorg using that left arm to keep low at bay. Oh, there's a couple good shots from Waylon Low. He had to wait a while, but he got him. Dropping in some lefts. 
But Sorg is being very patient, even though he's on his back, he's not panicking whatsoever. Not panicking, doesn't seem like he's hurt by those punches, but uh, oh. once again, makes a lot of noise. And that's just gonna, that's gonna tire out Whalen if he keeps lifting a guy up and dropping him. That's not gonna do much to Sorg. That's right, Sorg will say, I can handle that. That will sap a fighter's energy doing that again and again. If it, was, if it was concrete, maybe that's what you'd want to do if you were outside of a bar. But on this mat, there's a lot of give there. Low, you know, even though he's trapped in Sorg's guard, he's getting into pretty good shots, especially with it the left. It seems like he's regenerating on his back. It's almost like he's not panicking like you mentioned. He's just trying to hang in there. Yeah, Sorg's been here before. He's very comfortable. He's got a good guard. Waylon's not passing it. In order for Waylon to do any real damage, in my opinion, he's going to have to pass this guard. Sorg just pushing his way out with his arm. And now Lowe's trying to fight through the arm. I think Waylon did a smart thing. He pinned him up against the cage where he's not going to be able to use those hips. As effectively, he's looking to make the so pass. the arm right there. Working on that arm. Oh, big leg from Sorg off the bottom. Oh, I think he hurt Lowe with that fight. Yeah, he definitely, definitely, definitely hurt. hurt. Grabbed his head. That's something you don't see often no. is a heavy right hand coming off the bottom. How heavy much hand of any type coming off the bottom. How much power can you get when you're laying on your back? You yeah, don't get much at all. Strong punch. Could you imagine being a step into it? I think, Rover, what you saw was a perfectly placed shot. That was about as good as it gets from being on your back. And maybe Waylon was might have been moving into it too. Oh, that was a heavy shot. Waylon looks like he's recovering at this point, but I think for a couple seconds he was in trouble. You know, Waylon's doing a nice job in this guard, but I think he would do a whole lot better in passing this guard. Okay, he wants to stand it up. Uh, Waylon okay. stands it up. Sword kicked him off. Remember, five minutes in each round, so we got some time to work with here. Waylon giving up a little reach. I think he's got an advantage. Sometimes you fight as a southpaw, there's a little bit of an advantage with a guy who hasn't much experience with that type of fighter. <laughs> There's a little defense. Wow. Basically, they're finishing this round the way they started this round, on their feet. Absolutely. And remember, Sorg is not going to be intimidated no, how, no matter how good the wrestler is. He's the one that uh, took care of Sonny Marchetti here at Fight Fest. We saw that fight. That was a great fight. We're going to have uh, this one continue. I, I know uh, Jeff mentioned he thinks this one's going the distance. We got one round in the books already. I think it is going to go the distance, and I think I'd give the first round to Waylon Lowe. He obviously had control most of the way. Sword got in a couple good shots, but mostly it was low on top, stuck in the guard, but getting some good punches in, I think. Something they always had, they always started that way. Waylon definitely has a little respect for the punching power of Sword now, I think. Yeah, I would agree with you. I think his, uh, his corner is going to be talking to him right now, even if you're in that guard, you know, keep the head protected. He never could get anything in. I'll tell you, Sorg is very patient, very level-headed. But still, I think Sorg needs to be a little more dominant in this second round. A little more aggressive. Yeah. Sorg's starting to work on that lead leg. His corner may have talked to him as well. Waylon gets in. Oh! Drops him with a nice slam. Sorg does a really good job, though. He comes down, full guard, no stress. This that was that wrestling move. He just did that shoot, boom, right in there. Possibly looking for a Kimura here. He's attacking that right arm of Waylon Lowe. This is when Waylon needs to step over. He did just that. He stepped over with his right knee. He's got half guard, much better position for Waylon. And Sorg just tried to roll. Waylon Lowe off of him, and he lost his full guard in the process of doing so. I think Sorg is going to learn here that uh, Waylon Lowe, you know, collegiate wrestler, has very, very, very good balance. And I don't know that he's going to roll this guy. Here, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to count Sorg out, but he's going to have to do something soon. I mean, the judges have to be saying, hey, he's not really doing it. Waylon Lowe's got no close to that. Wow. Sorg, that's uh, it. Wait a second. Wait. No, 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 no. No. I think I, he jumped in. Wait. Yep. Yeah. It could be an injury. Uh, I guess that's a fight. I thought he might have been. Yeah, he hopped in.